good morning children so in last period we saw how uh, jatra and all the villagers they were so happy in the village now what happened across the river one day the people of kedi heard that a big dam was to be built on the river for this a big wall would be built to stop the flow of the river kedi and many nearby villages in that area would be drowned under water you know they what they heard that there will be a big dam was to be built on the river so when the dam is built means the water is going to be collected and all the villages nearby villages they will get drowned so the people would have to leave their villages uh, and their lands on which their forefathers had lived for centuries that's how it happens you know these are the villagers who used to live there you know and all their since their forefathers had lived there in that area in that village for centuries and centuries and now they have been told to leave the village so they were very 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 upset so after a few days government officials along with the police started visiting these villages small children of the village saw the police for the first time some children would run after them and some would get scared and start crying the officials measured the width and the length of the river the fields the forest and the houses they called meetings with the elders of the village so with the elders of the village they called the meetings and they said villages on the bank of the river would have to be removed so those villages which are there on the bank of the river have to be vacated removed okay people having land and khedi will be given land far away uh, given land far away on the other side of the river they they will have everything there a school electricity hospitals buses trains etc um they will have everything over there so they were just bribing them that uh, you will have everything over there you will have uh, you will be given a, a far away land and there the school electricity hospital buses trains everything will be there and they will have all that they could not even dream of there here dream of here in khedi so they just started bribing them you know giving them a nice dream that you know people started dreaming about it okay in the village they never never had electricity you know the hospitals and buses and trains so they felt like wow we will get all this so jatra's parent and most elders were not happy about leaving their village listening to all this jatra would get a li- will get a little scared but also feel excited he would think that after getting married he would take his bride to a new house in the in the new village you know a house uh, where he could just press a button for the light turn on the tap for the water he could go by bus to see the city when he would have children he would he could send them to the school they will not be like him who had never been who had never been to school he started dreaming but he never felt that when he has to press the button for the light he has to pay the bill for the electricity he has to pay the, the bill for the water you know he he didn't uh, because there in the village they never had to pay for the water no it's their own water the electricity was not there they never have they never had all this so they started dreaming about it okay so now they went into the new place it was summer afternoon jatra was feeling faint you know he was like chakkar fainting giddiness in the hot sun and wind his feet were burning on the coal tar of the pakka road in the village the road was not pakka no so it's mud so it's never too hot but here its feet was his feet was burning because the road was pakka 
There wasn't a single tree to offer some shade. Just a few houses in the shops that there was on his way home. After buying medicine, he had an old tire on his back. These days, he had to light his stove with just these rubber piece of old tires. These caught fire fast. No, he didn't have money to even buy the stove or the 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 kerosene oil. No. Uh, for the LPG, there was no gas cylinder, of course, at that time. But of course, there there was kerosene oil, which he cannot afford. No, he wouldn't be able to afford that. So he was just using the leftover tires for burning. You know, so that he can cook. He could save some firewood. Otherwise, he will have to buy some wood. No, uh, the smoke and the smell of burning tires were terrible. In this new Sinduri village, children, you have to remember and underline this. This is the new Sinduri village. They had to pay money for everything. No, they had to pay money for every single thing, for buying the medicine, food, vegetable, firewood, and fodder for the animals. They could just not afford to buy kerosene. But from where to get the money for all this? Thinking of all this, Jatra reached home. The roof made of a tin sheet made the house hot like an oven. Jatra's wife had high fever. His daughter Jhimli was rocking her little brother Sidya to sleep in her lap. You know, Jhimli was rocking her brother. Mother was down with the fever. So he is coming with her with the medicine okay children so Jimli was rocking her little brother Siddhya to sleep in her lap after all there was no other older person with them Jatra's parent had been so sad about leaving Khedi that they had died before he moved here in Sinduri there were only 8-10 families he could call his own those from his old village. The whole village had got scattered and people had gone wherever they had been given land. So see how how terrible condition, no? The condition is so horrible and terrible and sad. This was not like the new village Jatra had dreamt about. There was electricity but only for some time in a day. And then the electricity bill had also to be paid. There were taps but no water. In this village, Jatria got one room in a tin shade. It had no place to keep animals. He also got a small piece of land. But that was not good for farming. Why? Because it was full of rocks and stones. Still, Jatria and his family worked very hard, but they could not grow much on the field and could not make enough money even to buy seeds and fertilizer. In Khedi, people did not fall sick often. If someone fell ill, there were many uh, people who knew you know, how to treat them with the medicine made from plants only. People felt better after taking those medicines. Here in Sinduri, there was a hospital, but it was difficult to find doctors and there were no medicines. There was a school here, but the teacher did not care much about the children from the Khedi village. No children were coming from Khedi village. The teacher did not bother about those children. These children found it difficult to study in a new language. The people of Sinduri did not welcome the newcomers from Kedi. They found their language and way of living strange. They made fun of uh, the Kedi people by calling them unwanted guests. This is bad, huh? These people, the people from Sinduri village, they used to call... Uh, they used to call them unwanted guests. Who? The children from the Khedi village. 
not much of what he had dreamt had come true. So Jatra had dreamt of a lot of things, no? And what happened? Nothing much. So it was upsetting. Moving ahead some years later, Jatra stayed for a few years in Sinduri. The children also were getting older. But Jatra's heart was not here in Sinduri. He still missed his old Khedi. But there was no Khedi now. There was a big dam and a big lake of collected water in the in and around Khedi. Okay, so now there is no village. It has turned into a dam, no? Jatra thought if we are to be called unwanted guest, then at least let us go to some place where our dreams can come true. Jatra sold his land and his animals and came to Mumbai. Here, he started a new life with his family. His only dream was to send his children to school and give them the better future, a better life. See, all the parents' children, everybody's dream is to give their children a good school, a better future and a better life. So was Jatriya's. Here too, things were not so easy. He hoped that things would get better. Jatriya started saving money to repair his one-room shack. You know, shack means just like jhopri. His relatives would tell him, don't waste money on this. Who knows, we may have to move from here too. In Mumbai, there is no place to stay for outsiders like us. Jatra was scared and worried. He thought, we left Khedi for Sinduri. Then we left Sinduri for Mumbai. If we have to move from here too, then where can we go? In this big city, is there not even a small place for my family to stay? So he was very, very upset, children, very, very upset <clears throat> that there is no place for us. Now, this is important here. You know, teacher's note, discuss the children about the different types of people being displaced or asked to move from one place or who, who go on a transfer. Both situations may cause different kinds of problems and difficulties. Children, <clears throat> here... Uh, the dam, the bridges, highways, factories are promoted in the name of development. You know that? Do all people benefit from these? Uh, uh, there are live issues uh, which can be related in the newspaper. Okay. <clears throat> so they are asking how people are asking for... They are talking in terms of development. So what all projects are there in the hand of the government in the name of development? So it is nothing but the projects like dam, bridges, highways and factories. Isn't it? So we saw how Jatra was very, very upset and he was upset about his family. How he was happily, he was living in that uh, Khedi village, then he was being removed and shifted to Sinduri and since he was not able to cope up with the family in that village so he shifted to Mumbai and there also his relatives are telling him that we might have to go so he was upset no what is the name of the chapter no place for us that's what he is worried about do we have do I do do uh, like is there any place for us or there is no place for us so he was upset about this. So this is a situation, children, which Jatriya faced. Okay. So here we are done with the chapter. I'll be uh, sending you the question answers of this chapter.